voters in Kansas City have approved a new taxing district that could eventually lead to expansion of the downtown streetcar. But this is the first step in a several step process. 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom live near UMKC where the streetcar could eventually run there. Cynthia. Yeah, that's true. Right behind me is the University of Missouri, Kansas City. And when all is said and done, eventually UMKC will be another stop along the expanded route of the Kansas City streetcar. Now, the election results were actually certified this afternoon by special appointed election judges at Union Station. I will entertain a motion to certify those results. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 The number of voters in favor of creating a new transportation district was overwhelming. About 70% of voters who cast their ballots said yes. Uh, just right around 29% said no. The yes vote means uh, people are living along the new southern route of the streetcar will pay additional taxes. Uh, the new streetcar route will run from Union Station south to the plaza to UMKC. Now, some preliminary work has already been done, but uh, now things are going to move uh, into a different direction. Uh, there's a lot still that, ha that has to be done uh, before construction can actually be finalized, including uh, two other votes before all this process uh, is finished. So we're going to talk much more about that coming up on 41 Action News at 5 o'clock. Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News. All right.